Hey guys, guess what? There's absolutely nobody in this parking garage. <laughs> Just the usual, waiting for another train to move, and there's a hobo over there. You're not gonna beat a bike, bro. That sounds so powerful, dude. Hey guys, what's going on? And I'm gonna start off by passing this car. I'm not about to go slow. Anyways, um, I just wanted to give a shout out to Suburban Delinquent for posting my, uh, my crash video. Uh, that boosted my channel by like 12, 13, going on 1400 subscribers. And uh, all you guys that subscribed to me, that uh, came from Sub D's channel. I just wanted to thank you guys. That means so much to me because I'm thinking, you know, you know, 186 subscribers, is it really worth going out, burning up gas, using my time that I could just be doing enjoying riding, you know, editing it, uploading it, and only getting 30 views. It just didn't seem like it was worth it. But now it's like, wow, I'm going on 2,000 subscribers now. And uh, that just really hyped me up. I came home from, you know, getting home from work, only having about 160, 180 subscribers. I go, I open my phone up, turn it on, you know, go on YouTube, bam, 852 subscribers. And it was a double take. I'm like, wait, what? How in the world? And then I didn't get it for a little while. And then it's like, oh, Suburban Delinquent uploaded it. Okay, that makes sense. But uh, Suburban, if you're watching this channel, I just wanted to say thanks again. Uh, I was so excited when I saw my, my video on your channel. Last time I looked, I had like 75,000 views. So it's like, eh, I'm famous. <laughs> sort of, not really. But uh, a lot of people, they're really giving me a hard time about my shoes. It's like, come on, I'm not gonna wear really, really good shoes when I'm on a motorcycle. Well, thanks. Really? Oh yeah, you give me the peace sign. You're just gonna blow. Ah, ah calm down. A little bit of rage. But make sure there's no bugs on my camera. Yeah, uh, th there's thanks so much, Sub Suburban Delinquent. Uh, you're a really cool guy. I asked you on your channel if you wanted to upload my video and within a day you responded to me That alone just really hyped me. I'm like yes now I just gotta wait for him to upload it and within a week week and a half He had it uploaded also. I don't know if you guys noticed but the quality is better for my videos and that is because I got the Hero 4 now, because I accidentally broke my 3 Plus. I had it mounted on my helmet like I do now, and I had it charging, only I had it faced away from me, so I didn't realize it was plugged in. So I grabbed my helmet, and then uh, broke the USB port off of it, which I could, it was still usable, it still functioned and everything just fine, but you would have had to uh, plug it in. Uh, take the battery out of the camera and plug it in. Let's just moto vlog while I'm going fast. You had to take the camera and plug it in and basically use uh, a separate battery charge to charge the battery and then a card reader to transfer the files and I wouldn't have been able to use my microphone because the USB port was broke. So I sold it on eBay got about 200 bucks for it and uh, upgraded to the uh, the Hero 4 and I'll just throw this out there too I was confused for a long time if the Hero 4 Black Edition which is what I've got I was wondering for the longest time before I upgraded if it recorded in 120 frames per second at 1080p 
and it does and it records at 240 frames per second at 720p I just thought I'd clarify that but uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy the uh, the higher quality I enjoy having a nicer camera I just wonder when they're when they're gonna come out with the hero 5 because uh, they came out with the hero 4 in like uh, 2014 something like that and I think it took a wrong turn somewhere yeah I, I took an early turn let's just cut straight to the road I'm supposed to be on without dropping my bike okay this is the road I'm supposed to be on but yeah I upgraded to the hero 4 black edition and uh, they retail in stores um, for like 500 bucks at Best Buy or really anywhere you go so I'm thinking I'm, there's no way I'm paying 500 bucks. So I went on eBay and got it for like 375, and I already had a 64 gig card for it. So it worked out pretty good. I ordered something on eBay to protect my bike from getting totaled if I were to get hit again and it drops in the clutch side. It's actually they're like uh, frame sliders, only it mounts right by the uh, the swing arm pivot, the sw swing arm bolt. It mounts right by the clutch so if your bike drops it's not gonna break your clutch and uh, that's in a sense what totaled my bike because that would have been a lot of money for the parts and uh, a lot of labor let alone the fairing damage and the rear sets and you know just everything was just bald on the outside of my bike but I've got this one now and uh, I don't know what kind of stickers to put on it besides like GoPro and Red Bull and Monster. I don't want to sticker it up too bad because it's, it's a nice looking bike. I, don't, I just don't want to plaster the snot out of it with stickers. Is this guy right in the middle of the road? No, it just looked like it. Well, yeah, he sort of is. Thank you for backing up. I'll wave to you. Thank you. I hope he didn't think I was flipping him off. I gave him the two fingers. Peace fingers, deuce, deuces. Anyways, I have owned four bikes since I was 18, a little over 18 to a little over 19. My first bike, I'll put a picture up on the screen, was a, uh, a 1999 Honda Nighthawk 750. Never had a single problem with that bike. Nothing, I mean, nothing mechanical. And uh, it just ran great. It was a great starter bike. And if you're looking for a starter bike, ooh, that would be it. I mean, you could go, you know, Suzuki, whatever. It depends on what brand you want. But the Honda Nighthawk, that was an incredible bike. It ran great, never had problems with it. And then I'm like, okay, I've got enough money for a sport bike. Let's upgrade to a sport bike. So I get a sport bike, the bike of my dreams, Holly. I'll put a picture of her up on the screen. And uh, she gets total 20 days after I have it. So, you know, I'm done riding for a couple weeks. I get back on a bike as a 2002 Yamaha R6, put a decent amount of money into it. And I just wasn't real happy, you know, dropping from an R1 to an R6, it's just, ah, I didn't like it. And uh, so I sold it, took a loss on it because I put a decent amount of money into it. And, you know, yeah, I sold that just the other day, last Monday, by the time this video is uploaded. You're stupid, dude, just ripping out in front of traffic like that. But, sorry about all the snorting. Yeah, so I sold my R6 after I bought the R1. So, yeah, I had one bike, then I had two bikes, then I had zero bikes, then I had one bike, then I had two bikes, and now I'm back down to one, and that's my old neighbor. He doesn't recognize me, but yeah, he's my old neighbor. I recognize him. He's a nice guy. His name's Jim. I gotta troll people once in a while. He's a sport bike. He knows I'm not being an idiot. I was taking selfies or something. Wow, I got that on film. That was almost an accident that took place. Wow. 
That was really close. I don't think you got what I was saying. That's why you always record. That's how we roll, folks. We drive by cute chicks like that and show off our sporty bikes. America, America, America. I was just chilling in first gear and he was still putting it to the floor. I thought you were wanting to race me. I as fast as I could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. embarrassing stalled it in first gear oh! <laughs> that was awesome though he's like he's putting it to the floor that's a, that's what I'm looking for cool guys like that you know it's guys like that that don't have sport cars that are willing to do stuff like that and just mess with you he was smiling when we came to that stoplight that was awesome <laughs> He's like, I was putting that thing with everything it had. See guys, this is why you always record. You just never know what you're gonna get on film. Uh-oh, I'm getting pulled over, just kidding. <laughs> that was awesome. I, I'm here, to, I'm grinning ear to ear right now. That was just flat awesome. And my shit's kind of flying up a little bit. It's a bit embarrassing. You guys can't see it though, so that that's a, that makes, don't, don't, uh, can't talk right now, that don't make a difference. Really? How could you not see me? Just start, as soon as that car passed, she just started pulling right out. For real? Come on! I'm not trying to sound like a whiny baby, but how do you not see a bike directly following a car? It blows my mind! And then she just looks at me like, oops, I'm sorry. If you were really sorry, you'd start watching for bikes. I'm kinda tempted just to ask her, did you really not see me? Man, good night. I'll see you guys in the next one.